hello students welcome back to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet now we are going to solve this problem which says that um, knowing that angle alpha equals to 35 degrees determine the resultant of three forces shown so the this angle alpha is 35 degrees and we are given these three forces and we are required to find the resultant so first of all let me define my coordinate system let's say this is my positive x-axis this is my positive x-axis and this is my positive y direction let's say in the downward direction is my positive y so now uh, we need to resolve these three forces one by one so this 100 newton force is making 35 degrees with the positive x-axis so it will have two components its x x uh, is x component will be acting in this direction in the positive x and it will be the cost component of this 100 newton since the cost components are attached with this alpha so we can write that the 100 newton its x component is positive since it is acting in the positive x and its magnitude is 100 cos of alpha which is 35 degrees similarly the the y component of this 100 newton force is going to act in the positive y as well so and this component will be the sine component since if this is our x component then this will be the y component and the y component is uh, not adjacent to the angle it is in front of the angle so it is the sine component so we can say that the y component of 100 newton is plus we can say this is plus 100 sine of 35 degrees similarly we have 150 newton force and 150 newton force will have one component since this is 150 newton force like this this is 150 newton so it will have one component in the positive x and it will have one component in the positive y as well so the x component is again the cost component the angle is made with the with the x-axis with the x component and the total angle of 150 newton with the x-axis is 30 plus alpha so 30 plus 35 angle alpha is 35 so 30 plus 35 is 65 so 150 newton force is making 65 degrees with the x-axis so its x component will be the cos component and it will be 150 cos of uh, 65 degree angle so we can say that 150 newton uh, 150 newton the x component is positive it is acting in the positive x this is 150 cos of 65 degrees and similarly its sine component it will have sine component in the positive y direction this is our positive y so it is again the sine component so we will have plus 150 sine of 65 degrees similarly we have uh, this 200 newton force so again it will have one component in the negative x direction like this and it will have one component in the positive y like this so again the x component is attached with the angle it is adjacent to the angle it is the cos component it is acting in the negative x so this will be 200 cos of alpha so the x component of 200 newton is in the negative x it is 200 cos of alpha which is 35 degrees and the y component the y component is in the positive y direction and it is the sine component so we will write that this is plus and that is 200 sine of 35 degrees now the rx component of the resultant will be equal to the summation of x components all the forces or all the components along x so i will write it the x components so the summation of x components so we will add up these three x components so 100 cos of 35 plus 150 cos of 65 minus 200 cos of 35 so this gives me minus 18.52 newtons all these components are in newtons since the given forces are in newtons so rx is minus 
0.5 to newton and similarly the ry component of the resultant will be equal to the summation of all components in the y direction so we will add up all the y components so 100 sine of 35 plus 150 sine of 65 plus 200 sine of 35 this gives me approximately ry equals to 308 newtons and this is in the positive direction so now we need to represent this resultant as a cartesian vector and we have to represent them on the x and y coordinate system so we have assumed that this is our positive x and this is our positive y direction now the our x component is in the negative x so the rx component is like this this is in the negative x rx is 18.52 and the negative sign tells us the direction and the ry component is 308 and it is in the positive y direction so let's say this is my ry and if we add um, these components by head to tail rule then they must give us the resultant so this rx this rx plus ry will give us the resultant force so the resultant force is acting in this direction like this now now this is ry right ry magnitude is known which is this 308 now to find the resultant magnitude we can always apply the pythagoras theorem since our x and our y are perpendicular to each other so they are making a right angle triangle so we can say that our resultant magnitude is equal to our x magnitude square plus our y square under the square root so this is the pythagoras theorem now our x is minus 18.52 square plus our y is 308 square under the square root 18.52 square since we are squaring the rx value so the negative the negative sign will become positive so negative sign doesn't matter we will take 18.52 square plus 308 square so the resultant magnitude is approximately equal to 308.56 newton now the next thing we are going to do is to find the angle of the resultant with the horizontal with the x-axis so let's say we want to find this angle theta now to find this angle theta we need to apply tan theta so tan theta to that right angle triangle will be equal to the perpendicular so this is the perpendicular and this is the base so r y divided by x and now theta will be equal to tan inverse and our y value is 308 and our x value is 18.5 so tan inverse 308 divided by 18.52 and this gives me angle theta equals to 86.56 so we can say that the resultant magnitude is uh, 308.56 and it is making 86.56 angle with the horizontal in the counterclockwise direction or we need to represent this angle like this we have to show that the angle is made with the negative x-axis in the counterclockwise direction so we need to represent this angle so that is 86.56 newtons and now if you want to write this uh, resultant as a cartesian vector so we need to write r vector r x i plus r y j now our x magnitude is 18 0.52 it is acting in the negative i and our y is 308 and it is acting in the positive j so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from vector mechanics for engineers